So if you own a Sony VX2000 or a similar camera and the tape deck doesn't work, or you don't want to bother with converting your footage to your computer, then I have an easy way that you can record your footage straight to an SD card, coming up. Hey there, welcome back to my camera collection. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can go tapeless with the Sony VX2000 or similar camera. I'll show you some of the devices that you can use or converters. I'll show you how to set it up and some of the footage that you can get out of it. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. So if you're new to the tape camcorder world, you may not know what going tapeless means. So for the people who don't know out there, there are converters that you can buy. You plug into the video out sources on your camcorder and it records the footage that is playing on playback from the tape, records the footage straight to an SD card. Now this only works with S-Video and RCA plugins, like the red, yellow, and white outsources. Since it records the video signal that the playback has on here, it also recognizes the signal in record mode as well. It kind of acts as a monitor, but you can hit record on it and whatever the camera sees, the device will see. So it will record whatever the camera is seeing. So if you have a broken uh, tape deck, like the, the camera won't read tapes or it's throwing some kind of a code, or if you just don't want to bother with filming on tape and then rewinding the tape, Tape and then recording your footage to an SD card or USB drive and then putting it, on any, putting it on your computer. This is a much faster way of doing it. So that's kind of what going tapeless means or is. So there's all sorts of video converters out there that you can use. Uh, there's some that connect to your laptop or computer and then there's some that record to an SD card or thumb drive. And those are the ones that I recommend doing for this because they're portable and you can attach them to your camcorder. So there's some that are made by ClearClick and there's some that are made by DigitNow, I believe, but I'm going to be showing you a couple from ClearClick that I have had sent to me over the past few months and that I have done reviews on. So the one that I recommend is the ClearClick Video to Digital 3.0. This one has a very large screen on it and you can use a USB as your, like a USB drive to save your memory or you can use a micro SD card to use it to save your memory as well. It also has S-Video and the full RCA plugins, the yellow, red, and white. But the other thing that's great about this is it has an internal battery. As of recording this video, these aren't in stock, but I will be still showing you how to set this up with the 3.0 anyway. But the other one that I recommend is the Video to Digital 2.0 by ClearClick. Now, this one is a little bit smaller of a screen. It has the same plugins here up on top. It still has the S video and the full RCA in sources along with HDMI and USB. Um, the only difference is, is it has um, a full SD card plug-in on the side instead of a micro. SD. This one has a 2.5 inch LCD screen on it, I believe, and the, the 2.0 version doesn't have an internal battery for it. It makes it a little bit more clunky to use because you need to be able to tape or somehow attach a battery bank or a portable charger to the back of it somehow, run a power cable from the battery bank to the clear click video to 2.0. So that's the only difference on that. So the if you can find a 3.0, I definitely recommend one of these because they are much less uh, bulky and a lot of less parts that you have to add to it. So that is just a couple of the ones that I recommend. Um, I'll you, you can look around on Amazon and I'll leave uh, a few links to one other ones that I recommend in the description below, but I definitely recommend the 3.0 if you can find it. So now that you know that information, I'll go ahead and show you how you can set this up with your VX2000 or a similar camera. What you'll need is a working camcorder. You'll need your converter, whatever you decide to use. You can either use the RCA plugins or you can use S-Video if your camcorder is compatible with S-Video. Now, if you're going to use S-Video, S-Video cables don't have an audio out. They're a video only cable, so you will still have to use the red and the white plugins 
to get your audio because they are the left and the right audio sources. So you'll have to run two cables with your video setup and that will make it a lot more bulky, but you do get a little bit of a better image out of S video than you do RCA cables. For ease of use, I'm gonna go ahead and use the RCA cables to explain how to put this all together. And then the last thing that you will need is some form of a phone holder, uh, specifically one that can slide into a cold shoe. Um, so that way you can mount it on your camera and the reason for this is because this is what will hold the video converter on your camera. So it's a very simple process. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and attach this phone holder to my ClearClick device, if I can. And I'll have a link to a better one in the description as well. Um, one that it swivels and has a nice cold shoe mount on it and stuff like that. So now whatever your preference is, you can put it more on the left side or the right side. I put it on the right side. Once you have that on there, you can go ahead and just attach it to the cold shoe on your camera. And then what you'll do is you will take your RCA cables or your S video cable as well. You'll plug it into the converter and then plug it into the video out sources on your camcorder. You kind of got to find a way to wrap it all up and make it so it's not so dangly like it is now. So I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out right here. So you just plug, you know, the colors into the colors, the yellow into the yellow, red into the red, white into the white. Let's see, we'll go around, uh, maybe around the mic, kind of. Okay, once you have it all wrapped up and nice looking, you can go ahead and pop open your little door for the video outsources and go ahead and plug the colors into where they're supposed to be. So also the yellow into the yellow, the red into the red, and the white into the white. And now she's ready to go. And this is actually a very clean looking setup. It's not super bulky. This is actually the less bulky uh, camera I've used, tapeless setup I've used to go tapeless. So now once you have all this hooked up, you can go ahead and turn your camera on and your clear click video to digital 3.0 or similar. And then once you have it on, um, when it's in record mode, you wanna make sure you turn the audio completely down on the clear click converter because you'll get this really high pitched whining noise like this. Mm. And if you're not getting a uh, video signal on it, make sure you go into the settings and change the video source from S-Video to component and you'll be able to get your video source. Or if you're using S-Video and you're not getting a video source, just make sure you change it from component to S-Video, if that makes sense. And there's some other little uh, settings here and there that you can check out in there. Um, I have a review on this 3.0 and the 2.0 version. I'll leave a, a couple cards up above for that if you wanna check those out, get a little bit more information on these devices. So now once you are ready to go, or once you have it all hooked up, you can see that it shows a video signal. And then all you gotta do is just push record on the recorder instead of the camera itself. And you might have to go into the camera settings and turn off demo mode because it'll have little demo things that'll start playing. Since the camera is not actually recording and doing things, you're recording from the device itself. So make sure you turn off demo mode and then make sure you turn off the, the self power off option. If you just leave your camera sitting here on for long enough, it'll just power off by itself. You wanna turn that off as well because you don't wanna be recording something and then all of a sudden the camera just turns off. I'll go ahead and show you some video footage out of this and give you a little representation of what the RCA cables or component cables look like. What are you doing, Jack? What's going on? Jack, what are you so cute for? It's March 31st and it's snowing like it's January. It sucks. What do you think about it, Roof? Roof! What you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Yeah, it's been snowing like this for like. How long has it been snowing like this for? It's been snowing like this since like. 
two weeks ago, three weeks, it's like the whole month of March, and I'm so tired of it. It's not even supposed to get any better either. Oh, he doesn't like it. Oh, Minnie. So thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you like it. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe because we talk about old school retro camcorders pretty much on a weekly basis. And on that note, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.